This video is on the threats of death. Who are they? They're elite members of science, men and women who travel in the spirit world using the bodies of others. They're also known as reptiles. Now, just to give you an idea of their tools, I'm going to show you a quick chart that's going to reference demon possession, demonization, and demon oppression just for familiarity so that while I'm telling you how each of these subcategories work, you can make the connections. I can't tell you if that's a shadow. I'm trying to get out the way. There we go. Okay, so we have this triangle. At the top, there's me. I'm their prey. On the left, we have the ties, which are the threats of death. On the right, we have the imposters, which is an entity of the ties. These are just the ones that are actually traveling. They're going to come in and pose as your rep relatives. So, they're, these people open up the doors for demon possession. These people come in and fill a position. Together, they carry out their agenda. It's in joint effort. It's a joint effort. So look, just like, oh, I'm sorry about that. So look, just like I'm chipped, their imposters are chipped, but they're willingly chipped. You get what I'm saying? So think of them as secret agents. You know, they're those people that are at the corner of the bank and they're like, okay, pause, wait right there. Okay, he's he's at the door, he's leaving. Okay, go in, make a quick right, make a left, swipe the card on the left. Those type of people, that's what's going on. They give these people all of their directives. They're simply taking instructions from these guys over here. Okay, so they run the, the ties. We're going to start on the left with the ties. The ties, they run the technology and their surveillance. So let's say for the sake of an example, we use a small family of 10 and we're going to make them individual people in individual households so that's 10 people 10 households these people are surveillance and all 10 people in all 10 households so they're going to inform the imposter the guy that's coming in and playing the big role they're going to inform him of what's going on in all 10 households so when this guy comes around he often makes a lot of references about what's going on in your heart like not in a direct way, but in an innuendo and a roundabout type of way. He'll make references as to what's taking place in your household. And for some people, I mean, it may just fly right over their heads. But for those that are paying attention, they're going to catch it every time and start looking into like how this is, you know, even possible. That's what happened to me. I noticed that back in, I don't know, I want to say probably around 2013. Okay. Tides. There are also the people that open up energetic fields. So when they attack people, like I said, one of the things is there's many ways for them to get in. I made a different video on that. There's many ways for them to get in, but depending on how they're trying to get in, an attack, a trauma, passing out, something along those lines may be their way. And in that case, you have to go to the hospital and you get an IV. The IV is what they use to open up your energetic field. And you'll be able to feel things taking place from that point on that you weren't able to feel before. And I think in most cases, people don't even mention it because of how healthcare professionals may react to it. But you can see their skin, their um, their limbs and stuff jumping. It is the laying of spirits. And as far as the astral body goes, comes in contact with astral body, that, that's an attack that takes place both during the sleep and while individuals are awake. It's just the subconscious mind. So they can, t in one of my other videos, I referenced them changing people right before me. That's how they're doing it. So they're giving these direct suggestions to the people that I have an encounter with. Actually, I have a video. I'm going to, oh, I can't upload it right now. I just completely screwed. I wanted it to be part of this video. Anyhow, I guess I'll make it separate. Like probably Threats of Death Part B <laughs> or Part 2. Anyhow, um forge and falsify documents these people are working for these guys so if the body that they're deciding to use 
<clears throat> has a criminal record, they'll clean it up for them. If they have credit issues, they'll clean that up for them. If they have, which gets them loan approvals. So you'll find that, you know, just out of nowhere, all of a sudden they're making moves that they were ne weren't able to make before. And they have this newfound confidence and newfound strength. But when you have an entity like this working on your side, ten, things kind of tend to go your way most of the time until someone like me comes along and I'm paying attention to everything. <laughs> now for this next subject, there is another entity. Like this is a complicated group of people, a wealthy group of people an elite group of people. There's another entity of them that's not listed. I'm just giving you the basics of this operation, what I deal with on a daily basis. But there's an approval authority. So when it comes to things, when this people, when this imposter shows up, they're coming to fill the shoes of the matriarch or the patriarch. In my case, I'm the patri the matriarch of our family. I have been since 2003. His job is to come in and dismantle me and be this newfound patriarch. We haven't had a male in the family that's, we haven't had a patriarch, patriarch, um, oh my word, in a very, very, very long time. I'm talking about many years. We just haven't had that figure. So when they come in, they come in and they attack the reputation of their prey and when they attack the reputation of their prey it entails a whole lot of false truths or truths with a spin on it now for these other relatives i'm going to go i'm going to show you how this kind of ran through my family but for these other relatives when they come with these false truths you can't accept any of it because that's like giving them approval to attack you so you have to be careful how long you allow these individuals to be in your space but if you don't know it puts you at a great risk. And you'll see when I get into the family part of this, how it tore my family apart and how we have a bunch of um, injured and individuals that um, aged really, really quick. I'm talking about in three to five years, people were aging 20 to 40 years old, quick, fast. And when you see the pictures, it'll, it'll all make sense. Okay. They broadcast assignments. Now, what takes place with this whole broadcasting ordeal is when an imposter gets there and he finds that, you know, this situation, this setup isn't necessarily something that he wants to be a part of. They have to find someone else to come in and fill the shoes. Now, most of the time, the end of their assignment is complete. The end of their assignment is considered complete upon collection of a life insurance policy. Like I said, they have a bunch of fraudulent stuff going on. So forging documents and stuff like that is nothing. Now, when something like this takes place, there ends up being two policies. There ends up being the original policy. And there ends up being the policy that they collect, the fraudulent policy. So it's normally going to be in a much larger amount of money. They're going to transfer the imposter will transfer the money back to their accounts. Transfer the money back to their accounts. They'll remove the memory of this individual that they're using. They're going to remove the memory of it. They'll never have any recollection that it even took place. And they'll collect their regular small life insurance policy left behind move forward with the funeral, whatever the case may be. But in some cases, when they think that they have everyone fooled, they stick around much longer and they do the same thing over and over again. They just wait for these folks to die off. And they're be they've been trying to run through my family quick. They've been trying to run through my family quick. And I'm the only thing that's fighting to keep these folks alive. And no one's paying attention because everyone has a interest. So right now, I'm dealing with a bunch of reptiles. I'm not dealing with my norm, normal family members. This isn't even a discussion that can be had. And furthermore, all the information is out there for them to see. No one's paying attention to anything. All right. But that's part, that's in part because these people 
are instructing them that they have nothing to worry about. Don't worry about the videos. Don't pay it any mind. In the beginning, they were telling them to pin, plot, and plan to label me as mentally ill. And that's what they were doing. Until too many videos got out. Too much information got out. And now they've kind of gotten away from it. So let's see. Field positions, imposters. Yeah, they call up people. Oh, yeah. Another thing about this imposter ordeal. Okay, so once the reptiles come in and they do their work, they actually do call up someone to house this body for good because they consider these bodies as theirs. So they have like a filler, a position holder. When they're done using these people, they have someone else come and fill in permanently. And demon possession is supposed to be a temporary, be temporary ownership from the inside. But if no one's doing the work and no one knows, everyone's being fooled because they look like, sound like, walk like, talk like your relatives. Then who, who's going to do the work? Who's going to get rid of them? So that's the purpose of all everything that I'm doing is to get rid of them and get my people back because these folks are not my people. Okay, run scripts, foretelling, orchestrate deaths. Okay, they have two things that they're interested in when they show up. They have people with positions of influence, and then they have those that they can orchestrate to kill. It would be believable. It would be believable. So what they're doing is they're looking at the family history. And in many cases, if they think no one's going to raise an eyebrow, they'll give them something that's not even in their family history, something weird or rare. They're, they'll just lay these spirits on them, open up their astral body or their energetic fields and lay these this stuff on their astral body. And because they don't have a Holy Spirit of divinity and their etheric body has already been broken down so much, this stuff actually manifests. These diseases, these ailments actually manifest. So if they can't use you because of your position... They start working towards killing you off. They'll just collect a life insurance policy on you. And that's one of the deals that these people have been trying to make with me. They were going to put my name on every fucking individual in my family's life insurance policy. And that's something I absolutely will not have. I'll never be okay with anything like that. They just killed my grandmother. And th this is the stuff they're boldly doing and admitting to. They're boldly doing this stuff and admitting it to me because they don't think that they'll, well, they know they'll be caught now. I mean, it's a wrap, but okay. Let's see. Bullying women that won't conform. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're bullying me. I mean, they, they make all types of attacks, all types of attacks. I have a list of ways that they attack me, but just to keep it pretty or really basic, I'll name a few things. They can't stand the way that I look. First of all, I'm really I'm very healthy. I don't have anything going on. I'm very healthy. And that's a problem because they look at my family's history and they like, well, we can't even act like she has any of this stuff. We've been trying to spike her blood pressure. Every time she goes to the hospital, she won't listen to these physicians. She won't accept it. She won't allow us to give it to her. She won't let us do anything to her. It's their remarks. These are constant remarks. It's that I won't allow them to do anything to me. So they're looking and they can't find anything. So what they do is they try to lay spirits of obesity on me. They'll lay a bunch of them. And these things are greedy. I think I said in another video, they do. They eat like baby horses. And sometimes I'll gain some weight. I have like a quick, I'm talking about overnight weight gain. I'll throw a fit about it. I walk too much. I'm too active for it. It's not my weight. 
I have to like fight off the hunger urges. It's not my weight. And then like, just like that within another day, overnight, it's gone. It's gone. So weight gain, that, that's that been a constant thing. This goes back and forth because sometimes they're trying to change my appearance to their viewers, their approval authority. Sometimes they're trying to change my appearance. So if it's not that they're targeting, it's my face. They mark up my face and put spots on my face. And the weird part about that is there's an approval authority for all these attacks. So they have to be able to justify it to somebody. So they'll say, you know what? She hasn't changed her face rag out in two days. She's using the same face rag. We can make it seem like that's nasty. You know, make it look all types of nasty. Show them this. And they'll think that that's reason enough to give her these bumps. Or give her these. It's not even bumps that they give. It's dark marks which is un unacceptable unexplanatory is it's just everything short of disgusting so now smile you know, when people look at her, she just they just they love her smile. They can't stand the way that people respond to my warm and joyful disposition. They hate when I smile at people. So part of removing my tooth was get tr an attempt to keep me from smiling so much. Now, I have a whole video on this whole tooth situation because it's much worse than um, I want to get into in this video. I'm trying not to get off the topic. So yeah, just view the video on um, this whole, on my teeth. Review the video about teeth. Here is another thing. I had to fight hard, fight hard to get them from, to keep them from, um, to get them to stop damaging my hair. I have videos also on what they were doing to my hair. They've purposefully had people burn my hair out. Um, relationships. Relationships is one of those things they had to get rid of. I have valuable relationships. Good bowel movements. They had to try and, you know, they lay spirits on my, on my bowels to keep my, my bowels from moving as well as they do because that's the only chance they have at manifesting any type of it, any type of um, disease. Smell, they can't stand the way that I can smell anything on people. Anything on people, anything around me, the, the fondest, the, it can be very, 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 very faint and I'll pick it up. They can't stand that so they lay spirits on my nose, on my nasal passage. That's also how they change the taste of foods. Along with experimental drugs, they give me shots and stuff, you know, and that assists in all these these other um, concepts because it's going to take more of the when the laying of spirits always disrupts something. It disrupts something that's working well, but the experimental drugs alters it, so they work together. Energy. They can't stand my energy. How much energy I have. How much I can do in a day. That's something they target all the time. And if you take a look at my spreadsheets that um, that I keep to track my sleep and activity and things of that nature, you'll see that they target my energy quite a bit. They'll sedate me to slow me down. But... Um, Oh yeah, lastly, I'm not having, I don't have a sex life. And they target my vagina. It is hateful. It's hateful. They can't still, they can't stand how clear, unfilmy, and scentless 
my vaginal discharge is. I'm gonna have to make this video um like not where kids can watch it. <laughs> but it's informational and it's educational. I mean it's good information to know. Um so yeah, they'll give me shots in my vaginal area to throw off my pH balance. And the thing is, it'll manifest for just for a day. But anything to upset me, anything to to make me think that something's wrong. Okay, back to the um, back to this other stuff. Keep the imposters informed. Yes, that's their job. They keep the imposters informed. They're their way of knowing. Reveal truths about their victims. <sighs> Normally, oh yeah, they re reveal a whole lot of truths to their prey. They brag about the type of work that they do and the things that they do to people because, like I said, most people don't live from this. A lot of people die behind these type of attacks and they just label it schizophrenia, but no one takes into account how many people die from schizophrenia a year. It's, let me tell you something. No one hears voices. No one hears voices. It's not, it's impossible. If someone's hearing voices, it's because it's real people doing it scientifically. And you can always tell when they don't want me to say something. They jam that thought all the way up. Okay, um, tampering with vehicles. They tamper with vehicles. They'll have you driving out of gear. And if you're... <laughs> I don't drive like most women. I'm a really good driver. <laughs> So, I mean, th that's the type of stuff that I pay attention to. But, you know, I, I watch the other driver of the vehicle just give it much more gas. And it, it it's, it's just tearing up the transmission and the engine. Um, maintain the clone. Sample. Manipulate. DNA. Yes, they're the ones with the clone. I feel everything that they do because the neural sensations are linked. So, yeah, they do. They touch, have sex with, like, all types of, they do, yeah, shots, still eggs, still brain cells, all types of stuff. It's much worse than I can ever let on. I'll write about it. Pray on people that stay in the house. That goes back into that thing that I said earlier. You fall into one or two categories. Either you have a position of influence or you have, or they're going to figure out a way to orchestrate it up for you. And the type of people that stay in the house that don't get out a whole lot, they don't have a job. They're not being seen by people on a regular basis. Those are the type of people that they're really, really putting a bunch of stuff on. Have a lot of chip of information on you. Yeah, the chip has all type of information on you. It's really dangerous. And it's also the reason that people hear voices. They're picking up the frequency. Um, she's going to volunteer. Yeah, they volunteer a lot of insights. So there's things that are going on in like my relatives' households that I have no business knowing anything about. So like they have this this running vendetta like with my ex-fiance they they you know tell me all types of stuff they brag about the things that they're have that they're doing with his body that they have no business doing with his vessel and i'll get into that in a later video and um the same thing goes like they'll try to get you to buy into it like um when they bring up my relatives i shut it down quick I cancel it, I break it, I bind it, all types of stuff. But they actually, they volunteer all types of insight all the time. So you have to really put them in their place in that way. Set up the imposter. <laughs> when things don't work out, these two are used to messing one another up. When stuff, they, they do this work with one another all the time. And sometimes it's someone from a different team they don't like. So in my case, they have an individual they don't like. One of the imposters, more than one of the imposters, they don't like them. And they set these people up. 
they set them up um manipulate derogatory remarks yes they manipulate derogatory remarks all day long i'm having internal dialogue <laughs> while i'm in the middle of conversations while i'm um i don't know idle I'm having internal dialogue. If I'm not brainstorming, I'm having an internal dialogue. And most of the time, my internal dialogue is consists of me going off on them. I'm talking about all types of, yeah, go to hells and you name it, I say it. But they take those remarks and they apply them towards the imposter. These people show up having all types of ill feelings towards me, not knowing why. Not knowing why. Okay, sabotage telecommunications. Oh my God. They sabotage everything. They steal stuff. They've stolen tablets. They've both physically and remotely stolen devices from me. They've possessed individuals for even implying that they were going to give me devices. They make sure that I can't reach certain people. Before the attacks on the elder women in my family took place late December, I was trying to reach out to them around the time of Christmas. They made sure none of my calls got through. So they, and there's times when my mother's try, <laughs> trying to call me and they won't allow her calls to get through. So when it comes to the telephone, everything regarding it, everything surrounding it is being manipulated. Try to kill me in my sleep. Yeah, they try to smother me all the time in my sleep. They try to smother me all the time in my sleep. And if it's not a complete and utter smother, they'll do it real. <sighs> they'll, they'll do it in a way that it just shortens my oxygen. So they're trying to like reduce the amount of oxygen that's getting to my brain while I'm sleeping. Attack me worse than worse when I pay them no attention. Yeah. Uh, okay. Seven times out of ten, I'm not paying them attention. I just told you I have an internal dialogue with them. Those three times out of ten that I'm having an internal dialogue, it is very derogatory. But seven times I'm just out of ten, I'm doing too much other other tasks. I'm completing too many other tasks. I don't have time for it. To give you an idea of what Back in October, I took a day out specifically for that. And I left out all the, the their um, perverted stuff. But I'm going to give you an idea of what a day of their dialogue is like. This is what a day is like. Excuse me now. Front and back. Two pages front and back. That's what a day is like. Okay, next is they override settings. So anything that's ran electronically, they can override the settings on. There's time when, times when I'm in small waiting rooms at the hospital. I spend a whole lot of time at the hospital or either the university. <sighs> I think the university is on one setting. I, it's, I haven't had it done there, but at the hospital is where they do it. I, I'll turn the heat up. I'll turn up the thermostat. And they'll override the setting to make me cold and keep me uncomfortable. It's just anything they can do to make me uncomfortable. Space heaters. They override no matter how low we have the, the um, setting on the space heater. They'll override it because I tell them to go ahead a lot. And that's their idea of showing me what it's like. Because that's a place I'll never see. <laughs> Okay, um, dictate what I receive. That's a problem. As you know, there's I have no resources. I have no resources. I've been staying with my mother, so they've managed to get me in a really bad way. This They attacked me at the perfect time. I only moved to California with $8,000. And by the time I came home, like from running all over, running away, running from them and staying in hotels, I came home with roughly 2500 bucks. 
2500 bucks, and that's after they stole my vehicle and left me stranded there and I had to pay for a flight home. So, I mean, I, <laughs> and then I get here and my, my parents have been altered. But I'll go into that in the next video on family. So I get here, $2,500 goes quick. And then I can't reach out. My friends that I have to reach out to that are actually in decent positions in life are now altered, have now been altered. I was living with my ex fiance before they altered him. And that really threw a wrench in things. And they expect that. Let me tell you, it's so weird because when they, like I said, when these people show up, they expect to be there permanently. So they've been trying to get me. They figure if they got me to a point where I had nothing, that I somehow be okay with being with that imposter. They want me to be okay with being with that imposter and bear children for it. It'll never happen. I'm homeless right now.